All right, talk about everything being in disarray now. I moved all that off of there so I could lift it up and take the wheels off. So I'm in the process now of putting it all back, but there's a good thing coming out of all this. I figured out that I can move this shelf on down, move that shelf on down to here, and I can get one more shelf, and I can put all those containers there on another shelf. And probably more. So I'm thinking maybe three, three of those containers will go on one shelf. So a person could have, uh, let's see, possibly 18 of those, you know, on one of these shelves. Cause I've got over 12 feet from that corner of the wall to the closet. So these are four feet wide. So I can uh, actually put another one there and this will be our pantry wall. So, or our prepping wall or our food wall. But I've got one more after I get this can, these cans here. Hope I don't break the bed down. But after I get these cans here all back on this shelf, then I can take that one down and unload it, take the wheels off, put these, these, uh, bolt legs on and then as one of uh, viewers comments said that uh, it's 600 pounds per shelf with the bolt legs not with the wheels and I could tell the wheels were already kind of let me see if I can show you okay yeah you can see the distance between between the wheel and that piece of metal on that one Yeah, maybe it didn't bend yet. When it was on there, it looked like it was bending. But anyway, so we've got this one rectified. Uh, like I said, had to unload it. The only thing I left on there was that one shelf there. And top ramen noodles and spaghetti and stuff. The rest of it came off. I left the uh, yeah, sausage on. So anyway... Uh, I had to take all the rest of it off because it was way, couldn't even pick it up off the ground. It was way too heavy. So anyway, uh, back at it. Got that shelf moved over and got everything loaded back on there. Uh, got some empty spaces there on my meat shelf. So I have to uh, stock up some more on that. Um, added some stuff. The tamales, not too bad. Corned beef hash. I ate this before. I like this stuff. 970 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot of sodium. You know, it's not to uh, eat every day continuously. By moving that one down, I can actually put an extra one over there. And there, that will fix my uh, situation with those bins smashing each other from the weight being on top of each other. Here's some other stuff too, guys. If you haven't got one of these, these are excellent for cooking outside. That's a Dutch oven. Very handy to have. You can cook bread in it. Um, get your fire going. Get hanging over a uh, fire. And then you can take coals and put them on top. It's built to put the coals on top. And you can cook your bread in here. I've uh, seen somebody earlier make shepherd's pie with um, hamburger meat and mashed potatoes. Added some stuff to it. Uh, very handy to have. So I need to purchase one more shelf. And then, like I said earlier, uh, you could put probably 18 of these on there. Um, they're taller than I have the distance in these shelves set at right now. So I'm not sure you probably couldn't go, well, you couldn't go six high. Because there's three high right there, and I'm up over half the shelf. So, you could probably only put maybe nine, and you'd only be using three shelves, and then you'd have maybe some shelf space on top. So, nine would be about all you'd get on it, I'm thinking. Sneak peek, guys. Um, we're going to talk about these pretty soon for planning, and some extra stuff I got there. So, be sure and 
watch for that video next we're going to talk about planting potatoes so you guys be sure and check that out uh i'll show you how i did it uh one year and we had excellent results made more potatoes than we could possibly eat so anyway um give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe and god bless